Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be doing the trials here, though, anyway, because, you know, the monster is a part of them. So, do not, if you go on straight to, to uh, what's his name, just go through that, those two little things. But if you want to do the trials, and this is Claire's room right here. No, this is the water test. Let's do the water Sorry, test. Sorry, it's evil. What? Monsters won't show up, won't they? Cross fight defense. I think it's for the people who basically had um just skipped the royal thing. I think it's those two. I think it's two of them. There's Clara's room. Stopping all of them to uh, stopping all of them to fighting. Yeah, but the, they were also doing them too. But the girl girls doing bull stuff. It's like you know she don't like humans. So that's what it looked like. She just he just trying to scare them away and shit. He doesn't like this. Yeah, I think Rose is pissed because they forced him. Oh shit! Okay, guys. Since well, I thought at least we find some monsters here, but it looks like that was not to say. Girl, I am going back, and I'm going to be training my people up a little bit more before I come over here. I thought at least there will be a um, another area to face everything, but it looks like that's like not the case. Hey guys, check you guys next time. I probably just added it with the last video, so you can get the full fight in the next. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the probably the last part of this game, the boss battle. We've been waiting for actually it's two. Little bastard's gonna turn into something I hate the most. Then guess I decided to go with these three because I then because I think Zephy's a little slow in her attack, so I think I'm just gonna heal them each time they are um they're at least halfway or something like that because i do want to spam their stuff wait did i do their skills i don't think i did, I did, I did, I did your skills girl oh no i did not we gotta get that that slice in there and uh, but i got her that thing You little bitch. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to lower her up one more time before I do this. So she can learn. No. It would take a while for her to get more SP, though. Attack with them. I'm going to use it in the But I might as well do that. Oh, freaking well. Let's see if we can beat her with the freaking charge things anyway. Where is she going? Thank you. 
Good, you two. Your two handed sword is gonna do great in here. Never mind. Let me see if I can beat this sucker with them now. Okay, here we go. He's gonna be a bastard. Not his first form, his second form. His second form is a bitch. It depends. His second form is like level 65 around that area. So if you guys are around close to 60, you'll be alright. Or 70, of course. I'm close to 6, 70, though. So, you have come to me at last. Strauss's corpse! It looks exactly like Schwenzite! I don't believe it. It isn't possible. Schwenzite! Indeed. I am Strauss's exact duplicate. Eh, but your duplicates was... Duplicate? Ah, your real self looks sexier, though. After you were disposed of, I made second Elgar, yes? This is the same thing. <gasps> that means... You were also the one who started the Avis War, and the Ruhald Civil War, weren't you? Technically, that was not me, but one could also say that it was. They were caused by earlier duplicates, you see. Then why didn't you offer yourself as the sacrifice instead? If you are Strauss, then shouldn't you be the true Magna Carta? Unfortunately, over the course of so many duplications, the power of my command has gradually diminished. I could not become a Magna Carta. The number of lives you've taken, the pain you caused over the centuries, is immeasurable! Was it really necessary to go to these lengths to pretend that Lontime was a paradise? This is a world that I have protected. A paradise that I made. To Lonsheim, I am like a god. I am the creator of paradise. Were it not for me, Lonsheim would have likely been destroyed. All people yearn for paradise. Why do you people resist? Then why don't you tell everyone what the truth really is? The truth about the world you created by killing tens of thousands. The truth about the real cost of this paradise of yours. Would they be so eager then? No. You weren't ever trying to protect the world. You've just been trying to bend it to your twisted will. Silence! Ah, so now you owe your life to the young lady here. Schwenzeit. No. I mean Strauss. Stop this. All the things that you're doing, you aren't doing for the good of the world. A thousand years ago, you did save this world. Of that, there is no doubt. But, guys, I have to say this. But I also think our heroes are being selfish as well. I mean, I see both sides in this uh the things yes what he's done is wrong and all the other stuff but they're also selfish as well because they also going to take away things that people really need to use they are going to take away like the, the wheel of the weird tree so you know healing won't be as easier now they have to actually use and study medicines and stuff like that i think i don't know i just saw i saw what he was doing but yeah his way is more fucked up but yeah, more people live in their world, but at the same time, I just don't know. It's just that I feel iffy on both of the occasions. But I actually do, I know that was evil. I feel like, how can you say that? His way is such a uh, dickish move or something like that. Like, I know, I know, but at the same time, I kind of see what he's coming from, too. I mean, if he was the Mortal Carter, he probably would have sacrificed himself, but he couldn't, so he had to find an expert thing, and it was Zephy. So, yeah, I understand his way, and then I understand theirs a little bit, but, you know, people who who were so used to using Rubber Tree will hate them. So they gotta live from that hate, because they can't do what they used to do anymore. But to me, they should just give up the hate later on down the road, so they can work together for a better place. 
but I just want to make sure you guys understand that I understand both sides to this. I just think that our hero's a little selfish to thinking that their way is the only way. Now you've taken a wrong turn and are on the wrong path. How long will you go on spilling the blood of innocent people? I've no need to make excuses to a coward full of self-loathing who refuses to do her duty. You have no right to talk to her like that. Even if she died, the world wouldn't be saved. It would just be one more sacrifice. How long is this gonna go on? Are you gonna keep it up until you've killed every human in Lontheim? I see that talk is useless. No matter, it was as I expected. Draw your swords! I was hoping that you would say that. Eat my fist of flame! <laughs> Oh, not that. Got a good eye, but that was just shameful. You do okay. Yeah, I put him up with all those little fives of attacks, man. We're gonna be beating your ass every single way. Oh yeah, get out the way. Okay, time to heal. Time to heal you. Do it, Corsell. Be his ass with that demon hand. Here's the finishing blow. Take this. You can count on me. No shots like hurry up girl, hurry up, do your thing. Prepare. Do it girl, beat his ass. Mmm, 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 mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Dang, I wish I had her last one. She does a lot of different, uh, lots of little copies of herself. Oh no, Rue's about to die. I didn't see that. Ten minutes in. Here's the finishing blow. Take this. Would you like a little bit of help? Oh, he died. <laughs> Elgar. No, I suppose I should call you Juto. I think a dog would bite his master's hand.
we go. I just got, okay, we're gonna be hoping here. We're gonna be hoping because he has this That's attack. Stras is common. I may have been just a duplicate, but it is insulting to be underestimated in such a manner. Prepare yourself. I will protect the princess. Like I'm saying, I am hoping he does not do this stupid attack where he kills the entire field of my characters. I think he does this like. If people, I think I was lucky in my last uh, let's play uh, walkthrough on my other channel. It's where he didn't, he never tended, he never did it, and that was the best thing in the world. So let's see. Oh no, the thing that you're gonna hate about this boss is that he takes away Khan. He's gonna attack his arms. Just keep attacking his arms. Himself. You shall regret your foolishness. Yeah, whatever you do, whatever you freaking do, keep them healed. This will be much <laughs> You do okay. Let me at least do his four. Scratch me. Accept your own fate. What do you say, old man? I'll show you the difference in our level of power. Be his ass, you guys! Be his ass! Be his ass! Get that 2,000 in there, boy. He um, re his redo his hands again, his arms. I mean. Swinging drops here. <laughs> Took my jacket off. I like 
most, and they threw lives the most. If you destroy La Strada, the con cycle will disappear, and we will no longer be able to reap its benefits. Do you have the slightest idea what that would mean? There would no longer be miracles such as planting a seed and seeing the plant bear crops within moments. Humanity has grown lax and idle because of the bounty they have been given. It would mean a hard life of toil and labor for them. What's more, wizardry would vanish from the world. The sick, unable to be treated with healing wizardry, would die in pain. The karma would stop working, and eventually, sentinels would also cease functioning. What? That's right. You see now, sentinels are given life through the wizardry called the Blood Pact. If that wizardry were to lose its effect, what would happen? <laughs> if Lestrada disappears, what will happen to you? I think you know the answer. Knowing that, would you destroy Lestrada anyway? Of course I will. I knew all along that this would happen. Jito! No, don't! Stop, please! turn up again and again. I came here to break us free of this fate we've been stuck in for so long. No matter what anyone says, I believe that this is the only way for Lanzai. Say they only believe. Will you try and stop me anyway? Please, Sefi, order me. I'm begging you. Tell me. Say the words now. Tell me to save the world. Zephy. You refuse to do as you're told to the end. Do whatever you want. But this part is a direct order. Absolutely don't die. I'm begging you. Please, don't die. I promise. what it's all been for. I finally figured it out. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. So I have no regrets. I give you my word. You and I will meet again. Zephy. Ah. Ah, I'm beat. Day after day, we till the fields. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, we have it pretty good here. I hear they had an epidemic over in Belfort last year. We can't use wizardry anymore. And they say dozens of people died. It's all because that princess didn't die, right? It was that traitor Princess Rizafilda and her buddies who crashed La Strada. 
It's all their fault that the world is so devastated. We were played for chumps. I believe that woman would save the world. But look around. They said that if the princess didn't die, the world would be destroyed. But we're here right now, and we're alive. Yeah, working ourselves half to death. Princess Rosafilda, are you all right? It doesn't bother me anymore. Three years have passed. Just as Shuenzite warned would happen before the fall of Lestrada, the people of Lonsheim lost the miracle of wizardry that tilled the earth and solved most problems. The karma was abandoned, and the sentinels went to sleep. And even the doom seeds, which continued to fall for a time, have disappeared. The world survived. Perhaps, with the passage of time, the old Lonsheim will fade away and be forgotten. Zephy! It's been a long time, Celestine. How have you been? Well, about that. Me? I'm really happy these days! So happy, it's scary! Oh, that's really nice. Argo seems to have lost weight, though. What? But I've been cooking my special recipes for him every day! How could he be losing weight? I'm joking. <laughs> I guess you crack jokes every once in a while, too. Three years is a long time. People change. Argo, have you been well? Yes. I see that you're looking well, too. Yes. The people of the world hate us for what we did. I admit, it hurts me inside a little, but I have no regrets. Before long, I'll have built a machine that will run along the surface at high speeds. And if all goes well, I'll get it to fly in the sky. What do you think? Isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it the best? Isn't it awesome? If I go into full-scale production with these, I think they'll take the place of the karma. You're awesome, bird. And also, they can make things with water coming up so they don't have to do all that hard work all the time. I mean, we had, well, people, the farmers had to do all that stuff. Feast your eyes on this! The machines of the Arby's people will rule the world! Amazing! It can even fly through the air? Lately, the handy machines we Arby's have invented have been drawing lots of attention. Speaking of changes, there have been a lot more human visitors to Kotomare lately. That's for sure. Now that people can't use wizardry, it's a lot harder to treat illnesses. Thanks to that, the Mari's abundant knowledge of medicinal plants is all the rage now. I'm making a lot of money selling medicines now, too. It looks like even isolationists like the Mare are starting to embrace interaction with humans. Yeah, pretty soon, Mari medicines are gonna take the place of healing wizardry. It seems people are tougher than Strauss gave them credit for. Even if their environment changes, they have the strength to adapt and not yield, and to blaze a new trail. Even now, I am convinced that the decision we made was the right one. It'll take some time, but eventually we'll have it all back to the way it was. But the real problem around here is all the folks who keep squabbling over the throne. And because of that, there's lots of talk of neighboring cities forming an alliance. We're in transition, so it's not surprising. Once more time has passed, things will probably stabilize more. Well, we've stuck it out for three years, so I bet we can handle whatever comes our way. Looking back on it, I suppose there may have been an element of selfishness in the decision we made. 
Although we prevented the many sacrifices that were sure to have come, we snatched paradise away from the people. But, as time passes, I want everyone to sense deep down that we made the right choice. I wish they all knew how lucky they are right now. Isn't that right, Juto? Okay, hey guys, thanks for watching my Let's Play of Mordecai 2. Uh, oh, I think I keep saying it, the Mordecai 2. Let's say that. Next up, probably another game. I got Freedom Wars. If y'all guys want to watch that, you can say whatever you want in the comments if you want to watch that. Um, what else is there? Uh, la, 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 la. Me and my sister is gonna do, redo Saint Roll the Third since uh, I want to fix the e uh, echo as soon as possible. And I might start on Tales of Legeria next, but I probably wouldn't want to beat the game first to get at least used to it and know all the places where you can get stuff from. But I think um, yeah, I had a lot of that, so I might just do a blonde let's play of that. I only played through the first 20 minutes of the game, but everything else will be completely new. Because I think I got to the point where we met Norma, and that was basically it. And then everything else I just learned from other people's little clips and whatnot from their uh, from the skits. And I have to say, Norma and Jay are my favorites. So you get to see that Let's Play. Um, I might start on Persona 4 Golden. And you might see some full romances from other games. She's big in the 90s. Oh, here we go to ending. Zephy. She always had a weird face or, or, or lips or something. The end. <laughs> I forgot how long these live action ones are, though. But you hear a lot of backstories from the characters. <laughs> 